So Artadi looking to ease the pressure. Nine points would be a more comfortable lead, I think, for the Yamadas at this point. But it rattles out in the rebound by Anthony Johnson. Here comes Escobar trying to shake off the defense. Now Anthony Johnson moves in, hangs in the air. That's going to be a foul. Now Johnson is foul baiting at this stage. A lot of Santa Lucia gunners position for a three-point attempt. Al Jamal, one of them, but not getting the ball. Johnson looking to uh, go to the line, create contact situations. Take a look at the free throws in this game. Halos eh pantay lang sila in terms of attempts. Realtors getting more points, however, from the line. And two more coming up. And Roger Yap is coming back in here for the BMAC Derby East Diamantes replacing Paul Artadi. Although I doubt that Paul Artadi will be sitting comfortably on that bench. He could be brought back at any time. And what about this San Beda connection on the floor for Santo Lucia? Al Jamal, Escobal, and Menor. That's a nice observation, Kinita. Playing at the same time. And Coach Ryan Gregorio will use this opportunity to call for a timeout. And that's going to be a 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix on first lead on Bahimo. Bonds all, seals all. You know, Santo Lucia's been looking for chemistry throughout this ball game. I think Coach Boyd Fernandez going with three players familiar with each other's moves ever since their college days might be working for them. They brought down this lead which was once 21 to just six points and AJ being very aggressive and going to the hole they're getting some perimeter points now from Menor and Escobal and Al Jamal's defense on James Yap has been outstanding in this quarter don't forget game one of the 2010 NBA Finals kicks off this Friday live on Solar TV at 9 a.m. between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics and believe it or not, the Lakers are favored to win the series. Um, we understand that the betting is... <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the odds already. You put in what? $1,000 mm -hmm. for, the, for the Lakers and you only win $400? 400. 400. <laughs> wow, but if you bet on the, on the Celtics $1,000, you win what? 1250 so the Lakers are but those change every day <laughs> oh, yeah a minute and three now here on the fourth quarter very very crucial play for the BMEG Derby Ace Llamados and the Santa Lucia Realtors this is going to be a true test of their defense now remember BMEG playing without an import who was fouled out They managed to shave just a few seconds off the clock. Well, BMEG had the right idea to kill clock. So they were moving the ball around. Killing some time before the uh, inevitable foul given up by Santa Lucia. So Revis. Good on his first free throw, second free throw could put this game well out of reach of the Realtors. And as expected, Coach Boyd Fernandez using uh, his remaining 30 second timeout. This one brought to you by Handy Picks on first aid down by Mo. Bonds all, seals all. Well, tough situation now here for Santa Lucia. They're down by eight, less than a minute to go. I would think at this stage, go for a three-point shot. I mean, even if you score a quick two-pointer here, you're still going to be down by six. And it's several possessions away. Vimex still able to score some points before you get the ball back. Now this Friday we're heading to the Nino Aquino Stadium for another doubleheader. Coca-Cola taking air 21 in the second game. And as always, you'll be able to watch that game live right here on Solar TV.
And let's see how the Santa Lucia offense aligns itself. I would say looking for a three-point shot right here. They get it to Escobar. Anthony Johnson. Oh, he, oh, he decides again. to move in. They'll give him that finger roll. You know, yeah, exactly. B Meg is not going to give that three point shot, but they'll allow the two pointer. Good two scored there by AJ and then Santa Lucia giving him the foul on the gamble. So still 51.5 seconds remaining in this ball game. And last time these two teams met, final score was 86 to 79. BMEG uh, Derby Ace managed to limit Santa Lucia back then and doing it again here. 72 to 64 is our score. And if we're really looking at a chess match here, another 30 seconds, I'm out, brought to you by Handy Fix on first aid, Nambahimo, bonds all, seals all. You know, at this stage, BMEG hanging tough, making the free throws, and that's important. You know that the Santo Lucia team is going to give up those fouls to stop the clock and put you on the line. Bimeg has responded. Rafa Rivas with two straight free throws. Danieleta with two straight free throws. 51.5 seconds left. And I think Bimeg will continue to play the kind of defense that they played earlier. They'll give up the two points, but they won't give up the three points. Except you don't want to foul a three-point shooter. Eight point spread. So the realtors are going to continue with Menor, Escobal, Velasco, Al Jamal, and Johnson on the floor. Johnson still looking for that move inside, but that's going to be a turnover. Excellent defense. You see the perimeter defenders of BMEC really didn't want to give an open look from the three-point distance. And Anthony Johnson, they forced him to put the ball on the floor. They wanted to go him. Go ahead, penetrate, get the two points. Just don't make the three-point shot. Well, that last foul was really looked like it was out of frustration. He's already fouled out of this ball game. 23 points, 14 rebounds, although I doubt he'll be happy at all. Uh with those numbers because of the impending result here with 44 seconds to go James Yap with a chance to make it a 10-point lead what about this stat of Anthony Johnson he's actually finishing here with a triple double 14 rebounds 23 points 11 turnovers oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he has badly that's the, that's yeah. the evil triple yeah. double <laughs> he is badly outscored Cliff Brown, however, Brown with only seven points. And what a forgettable performance. One out of eight from the floor and only five out of ten from the free throw line. I don't know if that showing has any bearing as to his future in the PBA, but uh, makes you wonder if b wants to make a run for the championship. Of course, b is looking to lock up an outright quarterfinals berth. They don't want to be involved in the wild card. No. Nobody wants to be involved <laughs> in the wild card. Of course, nobody also wants to be the 10th team at the end of the double round eliminations because you don't even get to the playoffs. You don't even get to the wild cards. You're eliminated. Oh, for Santa Lucia, if they get in the wild cards, they want to finish either 6 or 7. You don't want to finish 8 or 9 mm -hmm. because you get a 2 point uh, twice to beat disadvantage. Here's a tip in by Nick Velasco. Trying to force uh -oh. the turnover here. And Rafi Rivas coming out from the end line to pick up the ball after he released it. So Maleyon. Well, you think that the realtors would be really looking for that outside shot now. 